The U.S. Department of Defense will receive the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie UAV system produced by the U.S.-based defense industry company Kratos Unmanned Systems. According to the contract signed between the U.S. Department of Defense and Kratos Unmanned Systems, two XQ-58A UAVs with sensors and weapon systems will be purchased. In this context, according to the contract, the total cost of the two UAVs is approximately $15,515,343. It is aimed to deliver the UAVs by September 2023. In the statement made by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, in April 2021, it was announced that the XQ-58A Valkyrie unmanned aerial vehicle successfully launched a mini UAV from the internal weapon station during its test flight on March 26, 2021. During the sixth test flight of the U.S. Army at the Yuma test site in Arizona, Valkyrie opened the internal weapon compartment covers for the first time and launched the Altia 600 UAV developed by Area 1. One of the two XQ-58A UAVs in the inventory of the U.S. Armed Forces was sent to Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. New tests of the Kratos XQ-58A UAV are being conducted by the 40th Flight Test Squadron at Eglin Air Force Base. The Autonomous Aircraft Experiment Team established within the unit will use the XQ-58 and Eglin series for further developmental ground and flight testing. The Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie is an experimental stealth unmanned combat aircraft designed and manufactured by Kratos for the United States Air Force Low-Cost Attributable Attack Demonstrator Program as part of the USAF Research Laboratory's Low-Cost Attributable Aircraft Technology LCAAT, project portfolio. The LCAAT portfolio was established to break the trajectory of increasing cost of tactically relevant aircraft and provide an unmanned escort or wingman alongside a crewed fighter aircraft in combat. Representing a low-cost tactical UAV, the XQ-58A changes the tactical UAV technology paradigm. The XQ-58A offers long-range, high-speed and maneuverability as well as the ability to fire a mix of deadly weapons from its internal bomb bay and wing stations.